It is our weekly check-in with Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. And Mayor, today we've got to start with Burlington City Council revealing a near $220,000 legal bill over planning disagreements. Now, I know people hear $220,000 and think, oh, that's all taxpayers' money. But how did this benefit citizens of Burlington? Well, it's for us to fight to defend council decisions, which reflect community wishes on planning. And it's really indicative of the fact that we shouldn't have an Ontario Land Tribunal at all. It is a waste of money when uh, you know a council and their staff, our professional planning staff have made a recommendation when we've made a decision and taken into account all of the expert advice that goes into processing an application and then to have it appealed just because somebody doesn't like our decision to the tribunal. And then we have to do it all over again, bring our witnesses, spend all this time and all this money defending the decision that we made democratically with the help of our expert planning staff and all of the uh, expert re you know, reports that go into making that decision. So we are going to continue to advocate that the tribunal needs serious reform. It wastes money, it wastes time, and it is delaying the delivery of housing in Ontario and affordable housing, because that just gets added to the price of the house that you pay. So uh, we'll continue uh, at the conclusion of applications to release those figures. Uh, so there's a lot of applications that are still underway. We don't release those numbers while we're still battling it out at the tribunal, but as those start to be concluded, uh, we'll, uh, we'll regularly be releasing that to the community so they know just how inefficient this is. And for those of you that don't know, uh, lawyers are expensive, uh, and if you don't know that, consider yourself fortunate, because uh, yeah, exactly. one day it'll probably hit you, and woo, it's surprising. Uh, let's get on to more pleasant matters, and that is the city has launched a new centralized volunteer program to better serve volunteer needs. Now, is this for people looking to volunteer or for organizations who are looking for volunteers? This is people looking to volunteer with the city. And one of the amazing, awesome things about our community is that we have residents who really wanna give back. I, uh, ever since I was a counselor in 2010, and certainly as mayor, people I would meet would say, how do I get involved? I wanna, I wanna help. So whether you're a student looking for volunteer uh, community service hours to graduate high school, whether you're a senior, retired a little time on your hands, wanna give back or everything in between, we have seen it all. And uh, any age is welcome. So, uh, you know, you can, uh, and we're especially looking for young people to get involved. So uh, you would go to the website and uh, there's all the volunteer opportunities will be posted there by department. Uh, there's advisory committees at the city. There are festivals and events, our animal shelter, uh, you know, so many different departments that uh, use volunteers, looking for volunteers. And there's a new intake process coming up in August. So watch for those. And you can even sign up to be alerted by email when new opportunities get posted. So I would encourage people to go to uh, burlington.ca slash volunteer and see what's available, uh, sign up and you'll get notified and, uh, and have some fun. Uh, we look forward to seeing you out there volunteering for us. Yeah, and the email address it just saves you having to check back over and over and over again to see what's new because it'll be sent right to you. So that makes complete Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. You mentioned events and festivals, and yet again, I think every time I talk to you, there's always something going on in Burlington, a lot of it hovering around Spencer Smith Park, and we have the same thing happening this weekend. This weekend, though, the Freedom Festival taking place at Spencer mm -hmm. Smith Park over the long weekend. Tell me a bit about the importance of this festival to the community. This really, uh, it, this is a critically important because it reminds us that uh, of the history of slavery and that, it, you know, it's only been a hundred years since, uh, you know, slaves were emancipated in Canada and there was a proclamation that was, uh, that was read uh, in 1834. Uh, August 1st, uh, Emancipation Day. So we obviously recognize that and want to recognize that in Burlington. Uh, but it's also an opportunity to reflect, reflect on how far we've come and how far we still have to go. There are There is still racism in our country and in our city. And I hear about it from residents from time to time. And so this is a way to celebrate and honor and acknowledge all of the contributions that uh, black residents here in Burlington and beyond have made to our city and our country. So there's a whole lineup of music and activities and, and uh, cultural uh, booths and all kinds of information starting at noon. 
Spencer Smith Park at going right till 11 o'clock at night on Saturday. So I'll be there and I look forward to seeing people out. I love how it's a long weekend, but you're like, I'll be there. I've got my mayoral <laughs> duties to take care of. I figured you would say that. Of course, you seem to always be on the clock and it's always a pleasure chatting with you. We'll do it all again next week. Thank you, Mayor Meadward. Great to talk with you, Jason. Have a great day. 